Hello YouTube land, it's Nate here at Masters. I'm super excited today because we get to talk about Roblox. You guys all love and know about the Roblox. They have great app integration, they have great performance, great navigation, basically everything in the package. But you guys have been asking me for a long time, well, when is Roblox going to release its self emptying bin? Well, let's go ahead and put that rumor to rest because with the new Roblox S7, it's going to have the self emptying bin. Yes, craziness. So check it out guys, yes, Roblox has a self emptying bin. And just from the looks at it, it has a, a clear window, so you can check out how much the debris in the actual self emptying bin portion. So that's really cool. I don't think it's a bag system. Uh, this is all speculations because this image is actually a simulated image. Uh, Roblox hasn't officially announced what it's going to look like, but this is basically the best guess on the official website. So I'm super excited. Uh, since this is a top loading system, like on the S6 Max V, the dustbin on the Roblox S7 is uh, 47 million, so it's about the same size as this. So I suspect it's going to have uh, two punch out down here, so it allows it to extract the dirt and debris, very similar to like the Ecovax tier. So I'm super excited about the self emptying system. Now, one question I have about the self emptying system on the Roblox S7 is is it going to have a dirt detection sensor like on the iRobots system? Uh, don't know yet. Um, I know some people are talking about iRobot padding that technology, but I know there's ways around it, either adding a timer system, which that means is basically allow the user to say, hey, go out for a certain amount of time, then go back and self empty it, and then resume. I know Roblox has the capability of doing that, so maybe that's a way of getting around uh, not having a dirt detection sensor. Uh, I'm super excited, but that's not everything that the Roblox S7 has. Let's go and uh, talk about the more features it has. Uh, one of the big features is the vibrating mopping module. Yes, I know Ecovacs had that, and now Roblox could going to have this. Uh, this is ultrasonic, so unlike the Roblox T8 system, where it only vibrates, I believe, up to 240 times a minute, this is up to uh, 3,000 times a minute. Yes, that's ultrasonic. So basically, uh, sonic is 20 to 20 hertz, whereas Ultrasonic is above 20 hertz, and this guy runs up to 50 hertz, so it's basically like a sonic toothbrush. So I'm super excited for that. And what's great about the sonic system is it's actually speed sensitive, so you can go down to 1650 or 1650 hertz up to 3000 hertz. So that's just mind blowing. All right, so here's in action how well the vibrating mopping module does on the new Roblox S7. There's some dried on coffee stains, and I was able to pick it up in two passes. So I'm super impressed with that. But I think the biggest game changer besides the self emptying bin and the ultrasonic mopping module is its ability to lift up its mopping module. Yes, I know a lot of people complain about having to roll up vacuum mop your carpets, and I've experienced this with a lot of roll up vacuums that can mop. And I know Ecovacs did have a carpet avoidance sensor, but Roblox took a different approach. Instead of avoiding the carpets, it actually lifts up its mopping pad up to five millimeters so yes it can transition over carpet to get your hardware floors that's something that i'm going to especially appreciate because my hardware floors stop at the bedroom and then across from the bedroom is uh, my tile my bathroom and i can't physically get there without transitioning over carpet and with the previous roblox models i would have to sacrifice my carpets being wet and soggy or i would have to physically remove the mopping module have to roll back and go to my tiled area and then reinstall the mopping module. Not the most convenient system, but I'm so glad that Roblox took this approach and was able to lift up its mopping module. So the actual Roblox S7 is going to be released on March 24th of this year on Amazon, so I'm super excited to get this. So uh, here's the look at the self emptying bin. You can see it might have a clear window, so it might be a bagless system. Not 100% sure. But here's the docking station, and I'm not sure if it's going to have one port or two ports, like on the Ecovacs T8. Hopefully the self-emptying bin is very powerful, and it's able to extract the dirt and debris from the robot. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, scroll up here. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into Roblox website. It's www.roblox.com, and you can launch into the Roblox S7. So, this is really cool. It comes in both black and white. Let's go scroll down here. So, here's the main uh, features. It has the sonic bopping technology. Has the integrated mop lift, also has ultrasonic carpet recognition. So yes, when it goes on carpet, it will be able to lift up its mopping pad, so it doesn't mop up your carpets. Also has a new all rubber brush, so this is going to be different from like the standard hybrid system that previous Roblox generations have, which is silicone and bristles. It's going to be an all uh, silicone design. Also has the upgraded floating brush, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited to see how all this new uh, brush roll does. Does it do well with pet hair? Can it pick it up? Is it easy to remove? So from my experience with like the Roombas, where it had the dual 
uh, silicone brush. I found that the silicone design was really easy to remove the pet hair, so I really appreciate that design. But we'll see how well the Roblox version does. So here's a look at the previous design. Uh, I did like the fact that they made the bristles more denser. Also, you can remove the ends here. So hopefully, the new design, uh, you can remove the ends as well. Also, um, Roblox is doing away with the actual bristles, and they're just going to do an all silicone design. So it should be more durable. And again, I hope it does well with pet hair, and it's very easy to remove. Okay, so here's the Vibrarize uh, mopping system. You can see it can vibrate up to 3,000 uh, times per minute, so it's really very fast. And it can lift up to 5 millimeters, which is really cool. Uh, it works in conjunction with the carpet uh, sensor, which is ultrasonic. It can be more accurate than infrared sensors because it can detect like the thickness of the material, so it knows when it's actually on carpet versus hardwood floors because it creates a different sound. Okay, here's a look at the extractor bar in action. You can see it can flow up and down. Also, the new look of the extractor bar. Since this is one of Roblox's flagship models, uh, the specs are very similar to like the Roblox S6 Max V. Has the 470 mm dustbin, also has a 5200 mAh battery, giving you a runtime around 3 hours on its uh, quiet mode. Also has a 300 ml water tank, so it can cover a large area, and of course the water tank is electronically controlled, so you have multi-levels of uh, water flow. Also, since it works with the carpet avoidance sensor, it will be able to lift up its mop pad, also can detect the carpet, so now you don't have to guess where your carpet is, it will actually outline the layout of your carpet. That's really nice because I used to try to use keep out zones to avoid carpets, but in some areas it will miss the carpet since my carpet has a weird layout. The new Roblox S7 doesn't shy away from its uh, original design. It has a three button layout here. You got the spot clean, you got the power button, which acts as a clean button. Also, you got the return to home. But one thing that the Roblox S7 has over like the S6 Max V is this little spiral pattern. Very, very cool. Kind of lets you know that it's kind of like the ultrasonic. I think that's why they did that uh, pattern. Kind of gives you like the ripple effect of waves or in the water. So that's really, really cool. So, like the S7, uh, the design is very similar. It has the water system in the back. And if you open up the flappy lid, the 470mm dustbin will be right here. And there's probably going to be the clean tool right there. And the uh, Wi-Fi reset and Wi-Fi indicators right here. So that change will probably be very similar. Now, the biggest change is going to be the extractor bar design. It's going to use an all silicone uh, brush bar. Also, it has a new uh, floating head design. I'm going to see if it's any different from this design. And everything else should be very similar. It should have the same side brush. And the only real difference is up here is going to have an ultrasonic sensor for the carpet avoidance, also for carpet detection. So it's more accurate in determining when there's carpet and when it's hardwood floors. And one nice feature in the app is it's going to actually let the user know where your carpets are at and where the uh, hardwood floors are at. So the user can just basically click on it, the area, and just have it be more precise. So very, very cool. Everything else should be very similar. It's going to have the same battery at 5200 milliamp hours at 3 hours. Also, um, one thing I'm trying to guess is where the self-emptying port is at. It's probably going to be around here somewhere. So, like the Ecovacs here, it's going to have an extractor port, which the user gets a special dustbin and it can extract the dirt and debris. So, everything else is very similar. Yeah. Notice is the S7 doesn't have the camera-based system, the stereo cameras that the S6 Max V has. Hopefully they upgrade that, maybe they'll call it the S7 Max V, where it's going to incorporate the camera system. So that's the only thing I can see that the S6 Max V still has over like the Roblox S7. Both have the DK wall sensor and the side brushes is probably going to be speed sensitive, like on the S6 Max V. And everything else is very similar. Now one thing to note is the Roblox S7 is going to be a little bit louder, around 67 decimals, versus its uh, Roblox S6 counterpart, which is around uh, the 60 decimal mark. So that's just something to consider. Uh, it's going to have 2500 pascals, so it's going to be a little bit louder than what you find on the S6. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I want to give a great big shout out to each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. All my viewers, my likes, subscribers, all the comments I get down below, even my dislikes. Uh, this makes a really great uh, community. I'm so excited. I'm belong to this community. Roblox vacuums are awesome. Also, I want to give a big old shout out to Roblox for providing me the press kit. They gave me a lot of great information about the new Roblox S7. So the release date is March 24th and it should be available on Amazon for $6.49. And Roblox uh, tailors to about 40 countries, so you should be able to find it in your country. Also, the Roblox S7 doesn't miss out on features, so you can see that it has all the smart mapping features. 
I will provide another video if I find more information on the Roblox S7. So until then, stay tuned. I got a lot of great products coming down the pipeline. You guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time.